What are the different physical therapy approaches for scoliosis? When we look at conservative treatment options for scoliosis, normally in a modern conservative non-surgical approach, there is some form of physical therapy and or some version of a scoliosis specific exercise to be part of the program. Now in traditional orthopedic treatment models, physical therapy is not a common facet of treatment, meaning most patients are not recommended any type of physical therapy or exercise program to try to prevent their scoliosis from worsening. And they're normally just kind of funneled towards spinal fusion or surgery when a curve becomes severe enough to consider those options. And the reason why, because most orthopedic surgeons look at physical therapy as pain treatment, as treatments or therapy therapies that are done to help people with injuries and pain, and these types of therapies don't have an effect on reducing the size of scoliosis. They may help with pain, they may help with discomfort, but they're not taking the curve and actually making it smaller. And since we know scoliosis has the ability not only to worsen over time, it also affects the muscles and tissues around the spine in a negative manner. Now, the reason why the muscles and tissues are, are adapting or developing in this scoliosis is they're normally not causing the scoliosis in a traditional idiopathic case, they're normally reacting to the scoliosis. So therefore, we know we must address the scoliosis to have an effect on the muscles and tissues that are, are involved. And when you look at physical therapy and scoliosis, we know it's designed to help strengthen the muscles. And we know traditional physical therapy is typically done to affect not only the muscles and tissues, but also increase mobility and increase maybe possibly endurance. And normal traditional physical therapy is done to deal with muscular imbalance and they're normally trying to make symmetry occur between one side of the body and versus the other side of the body. And when we look at traditional physical therapy, then when you're looking at symmetrical exercises to increase core strength or increase back strength or endurance, these things are not necessarily things that may reduce to scoliosis. And we also know different types of physical therapy may encourage like a posture awareness or may activate certain parts of the brain to be improved with brain-body uh, communication to understand body awareness, and these things could have a, a possible effect on posture, but again, we're looking at how we want to affect the scoliosis. And when we want to affect scoliosis, we know one thing is the exercise or the therapy must be scoliosis specific. And this is something that we call an SSE. An SSE is a scoliosis specific exercise that the exercise is prescribed with your scoliosis in mind, not just muscle strength or range of motion or endurance strength or just balance or gait. It is designed with your curvature and it's just prescribed very uniquely to the person and the curve type. And when we look at these different approaches, there's many different times. And one kind I like to talk about is something called CIAS or C's, and this is something that stands for Scientific Exercise Approach for Scoliosis. And CIAS is a highly customized exercise program that focuses on something called self-correction. And it's allowing the body and teaching the patient to perform a functional scoliosis exercise by the person trying to correct their scoliosis through a sequence of movements. And then while holding the sequence of correction, they, they perform neuromotor functions and activities to help facilitate this brain body awareness, but it's all designed in this self-corrected position. And this self-corrected position is prescribed specifically based upon their curve presentation. And since we know CIAS focuses on the corrective potential of scoliosis exercises, it is an asymmetrical exercise that focuses on structural change, not on muscle strength, or muscle symmetry. Those things happen as a consequence of reducing the scoliosis, not as the goal of the exercise itself. And that is a very different process when we look at traditional physical therapy. Schroth method is also a type of SSE, and Schroth method uses scoliosis exercises that are also customized design based upon the patient's specific curve pattern and type. And typically the, the exercises really focus on three anatomical planes, the sagittal plane, the frontal plane, and the the transverse plane. Now in the CAS, this is all accounted for in the self-corrective movement, but the Schroth message breaks it down very specifically, and they look at trying to improve balance and stability in all three planes, and they're normally done in a corrective manner to try to counteract curve progression 
and typically Schroth uses a breathing approach. They use a lot of breathing associated with their exercises to help expand lung tissue, but really help expand the rib cage. And Schroth method is a very widely exercised approach for scoliosis, and it's one of the oldest around. There are other types of SSEs, Lyons exercises, the Bochowicz exercises, Scoli balance exercises. And what an SSE means is that this exercise is designed with their scoliosis in mind. It's not traditional back therapy, traditional pain therapy, traditional physical therapy. We know those types of therapies will have no effect on scoliosis. Now, even though I like SSEs and I use them all the time with my patients, we know scoliosis exercises like an SSE is, has its own limitations, meaning that we know scoliosis is a very complex condition and normally necessitates a very customized program. So I use SSE, but I don't rely solely on SSEs. We also use other types of therapy and rehabilitation like passive therapies and passive treatments. We also use chiropractic care. We also use corrective bracing. We use uh, traditional uh, physical therapy approaches, but we use very type of chiropractic passive approaches that are helping push the spine into the straighter position. We know not, there's never one treatment discipline on its own that's gonna address all the needs of a scoliosis patient. We know that you have to design all these programs into a program that's gonna be proactive and that's gonna be customized to each and every scoliosis patient. And by combining all these things, not only we can try to reduce the scoliosis on a significant level, but we can help increase the spinal support and balance and stability by reducing the size of curve. Because once you reduce the size of curve, all the muscles and all the tissues and everything has to adapt to a smaller curve, meaning they're gonna have more stability and more symmetry. Here at Scoist Reduction Center, our patients benefit from a very integrated level of non-surgical treatment. And it's where all these treatments are combined on every level to impact the scoliosis in a, in a very structural component. And we know physical therapy definitely has a role in conservative treatment. And we also know SSEs have a role in scoliosis treatment. But we know that these roles are a, a way that they're coordinated to Im improve the scoliosis with a complete comprehensive program that's gonna reduce the curve. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions about this topic or other scoliosis questions, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish new videos just like this.